It's been a rumor the past couple months, and today the Western Athletic Conference made it official. Conference expansion. WAC Commissioner Jeff Hurd announcing five new members on Thursday with the additions of Abilene Christian, Lamar, Sam Houston State, Southern Utah, and Stephen F. Austin. That brings the total number of Texas schools in the conference to six. That's tops in the country in Division I. The move also paves the way for football to return to the league for the first time since 2012. It'll happen at the FCS level beginning in the fall of 2022. Altogether, a move that provides stability for the WAC here moving forward. Now here's the breakdown. The four Texas schools will join effective July 1st of this year, Southern Utah in July of 2022. Now beginning in 2022, there'll be 13 league members as Chicago State will voluntarily leave the WAC. They'll break it up into two divisions with these six Texas schools making up the Southwest Division. Now, what does all this mean for New Mexico State? Well, it finally gives the Aggies some stability and some stable ground to stand on, as well as the rest of the remaining WAC members in a time where stability is really needed most. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver has more from Las Cruces. Since joining the Western Athletic Conference in 2005, New Mexico State has long sought steadiness within its league. With the addition of five new teams that will immediately boost the WAC's reputation nationwide, the Aggies finally have that continuity that Mario Mocha has long been looking for. I think the number one thing this addresses is stability. This is the first uh, time I felt, hey, now this is a stable league multiple teams, everybody's excited. With the move, the WAC increases in size from 9 to 13 teams and adds some powerhouse programs. Stephen F. Austin basketball has won games in March Madness in the last decade, and Sam Houston State football and baseball were dominant in the Southland Conference. This is not a routine announcement. This is a historic announcement for the conference. It's a move that positions the conference for future growth and success. In the future, revenue and TV deals could come from the expansion, but it's men's basketball that could see the biggest immediate boost. With NMSU, Grand Canyon, and now SFA and Abilene Christian, the WAC will be a powerful mid-major league. I think an aspirational goal, and maybe a realistic goal, is to be a top 12 conference, you know, from a Ken Palm RPI standpoint in the very near future. It's going to force us, too, to go back and look at ourselves and, hey, what can we do to stay on top? NMSU won't be joining the WAC for football yet. The FBS Independent Aggies want to be in a conference, but not if it means dropping to a lower division with the hopes that other WAC schools eventually elect to move up. If they do feel that way and they do decide to transition to FBS, uh, that could be very beneficial for New Mexico State because that might be an opportunity uh, for us to get into an FBS conference, one that we make on our own. From a competitive standpoint, things no doubt got a lot more difficult for New Mexico State with Thursday's announcement, but an improved Western Athletic Conference is good for everyone and will pay dividends down the road. Reporting in Las Cruces, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.